I'm very optimistic that the hearing restoration project is going to move hair cell regeneration forward in a way that for the last 20 years it hasn't done. Um, I think bringing people with complementary skills and complementary backgrounds together is really a first in our field and so I'm very excited to be part of that project. Well, there are at least 15 labs represented in the consortium and, that, and they each have their own expertise, their own mouse models, zebrafish models and chicken models and putting us all together in a room will generate new ideas and ways to tackle the problem in unison. And what this does is it builds a synergy between all of us that is so critical for hastening progress. Uh, we really have a challenging puzzle to put together and it's much easier if we work together in, in one room to solve this problem, to put the puzzle together, uh, than in separate parts of the country and the world. And there's something exciting about the, the people putting aside in some ways uh, their, their personal, their, their unique, their single way of doing things to become part of a team. And uh, one of the things I've learned over the years in science is that the work of multiple people together, a team approach, uh, using people's expertise, um, is a much better way of moving a project forward, of coming, up, coming to a resolution. And the Hearing Restoration Project has really assembled that kind of team. I think the reason now is that we've gained so much knowledge about uh, hair cell regeneration in non-mammalian vertebrates and we have proof of concept that it's possible to happen in mammals so we're at a, at a, at a cusp, if you will, of really great breakthroughs and I think the HRP can accelerate those breakthroughs and lead us quickly or more quickly to the path where we're transitioning from discovery research to actual targeted research directed at really developing a molecule or set of molecules to do this.